Hey guys, I just wanted to make this video because uh, I'm not sure that people are aware of this, but this new Ruger Security 9 that just came out <clears throat> that uh, people are starting to make videos of and uh, starting to acquire it. I just want them to be aware before they make that purchase that that is a Caltech design, um, which is why I have this TCP out here because this is also a Cal Caltech design as is the Ruger LCP and LCP2 and the LC9 and the Sky pistols, the SCCY pistols. Um, those are all Caltech designs. Um, Caltech, um, I don't know if he didn't ever patent it or the patent wore out or whatever the heck happened. So um, I just, if you look at some of those videos, I know it's unfortunate that nobody's taken the three minutes and, and done a detail strip on that. Uh, security 9 yet because all it would be is a couple pins and then um, this I hope that's gonna show up but there's that spring that runs right down in there that connects um, you just you just pop that thing out and then uh, let's take this apart real quick So you can see it's the same thing. You pull the pin out here and then this comes off and it's the same exact thing. The security nine is this exact. If you look at it, it's gonna look exactly like this. You have your aluminum chassis. It's hammer fired the same way. It stays in this half cock position. Then when you pull the trigger, it finishes the cocking motion and then releases forward like that. So um, no restrike capability, uh, same as this. So uh, the only difference is, is that it has the uh, uh, trigger with the safety um, tit thing that hangs out there, which isn't even necessary. Um, I, I guess I don't, I don't, Ruger's crazy with some of the stuff. And then they added the thumb safety on the one side. So, um, nothing that you would really need on that gun, especially if it has it here. Why did you put it there? Um, it should have been one or the other. So uh, that's another reason I don't like that pistol. Um, but I just want to show you that, uh, on, on these, uh, you pull, you knock that pin out, and then there's one at the back that I have covered with that tape. You can see it right there. And then um, that once you unhook that spring, that whole chassis will come right out. So what I'd like to see somebody do is take an SCCY or a um, P11 Caltech, which are double stack versions, and see if the chassis will fit in a Security 9 frame. I would be curious, or if you have both guns, lay them side by side and see if the frame pins line up on it because all they did basically was took an SCCY, um, what is it, a CPX-1 had the thumb safety on it. That's basically the exact same gun that the Security 9 is and they just added uh, a little bit of capacity to it by making the grip frame longer. So before you go out and spend $300 on that gun or in thereabouts, I just want you to be aware that it's basically a SCCY um, CPX-1. Now the nice thing about that Sky Pistol and the P11 is they have restrike capability. So um, if you had a bad primer or a light strike, you can pull it again. Whereas on that Ruger, you'd have to do a tap rack. Um, and the same thing on the LCP, uh, LCP uh, and this Taurus TCP. So. Thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, that word gets out.